getting better slowly. Sunday and it marks the last of the last day of spring break. Um, I didn't go anywhere. I worked the whole week. I had Friday off, which was nice, but um, I did manage to put off most of my homework. So we have a little bit of homework to do. By a little bit, I mean a lot, but we're probably only going to get through a little bit. I only have one thing due at the end of the day tomorrow, so that's going to take priority. Um, I have some like food to prep for the week, and we're going to go to a yoga class, and I have laundry, which is almost done like washing and drying, but I um, need to fold and put all of that away. And then I'd like to get some like email stuff done. Um, haven't done my taxes. Would be a plus to get my taxes done. Um, yeah. Also, I live in Buffalo, and of course, over spring break, it snowed. So we have like two or three inches. You can't see it because of the grid, but look how <laughs> that sucks. So yeah, not the happiest with. The snow situation but today the sun's out and that is honestly all I can ask for at this point. I didn't vlog or edit or anything over spring break. I really just wanted to take the break to kind of recharge and not feel like I was juggling a thousand things. Um, I think I was successful. I mean I didn't really get anything done but that was like the goal so I'll take it. It was nice made a loaf yesterday and it came out pretty good but the scoring didn't go well because I thought I bought these razors that like have a hook on them and the hook is the razor not the other end of it which out loud makes sense but I thought they were both razors so the scoring kind of went not great but the bread was really good and the crumb was a lot better than the past ones I've had I decided to make another loaf today, so I have this one, and we're gonna make hummus because I have leftover beets, so I think we're gonna do like lemon beet hummus. I've never made hummus before, so we'll see how it goes, but it's really good with the fresh sourdough. I also made these really cute cookies yesterday with my friend. I'll put in a picture here. Um, they were like supposed to be pansies, but... Mine didn't come out like pansies, so I made them like butterflies and normal flowers, I guess. I just finished getting ready for yoga. Um, I wanted to do a fit check because I feel like my yoga outfits, they've been bringing it. Um, I got this from Target. Um, well, no, I thrifted it, but it came from Target. It had like the tags on it. It's like the perfect cut, I feel like. Um, and it's a good, like, light winter jacket. Um, Lululemon leggings, they're, like, the ribbed lines. Um, my sports bra's a Lululemon. My tank top is Urban Outfitters, but it's a little too revealing for YouTube and the public eye. And Costco Puma socks, because they're pretty good. They last forever, and they're cheap, so. And my mom buys them for me. For Christmas, so yay! Um, my necklace is this one we got at like a vintage market um, in Buffalo, and this one I haven't got me for Christmas from Etsy like two years ago, so don't know where it came from, but it's very cute. And this is just cowpock in Buffalo. Um, that's where I got the piercing. And then my glasses are whatever I picked out at Lens Crafters. I'm back from yoga and freshly showered. Um, there is something that just hits so nice about 
taking an everything shower, especially right after like a pretty intense workout. Um, and it being like my productive day, I feel like it's off to a pretty good start. We are gonna go grab some coffee in a little bit just because the sun is out. Um, it is still pretty chilly, so we're gonna bundle up, I think. By bundle up, I mean rockin' the Subi sweatshirt and my flannel lined Carhartt pants, which are a lifesaver during the Buffalo winters. Um, but yeah, we're gonna grab some coffee and then I need tahini for the hummus. So we're gonna go try to find tahini. Um, I think we can just buy it at Wegmans, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Couldn't find it at Tops, um, cause there's just a Tops down the street from us. Um, and the guys need pre-workout, so we're gonna go run a few little errands before we really get into the cooking and baking and homework that needs to get done today. preheating which I actually oh it's already in there the oven's preheating in the Dutch oven for the bread and once that's preheated I will put the loaf in um, I still have to score it but I don't know if I'm gonna show that just because the last every time I've scored sourdough it has not gone gracefully and it's been a little ugly um, actually a lot of ugly but it's still tasty um, I have some eggs on to boil for hard boiled eggs and we're gonna start prepping the beets for the hummus. We actually ended up running a few errands instead of taking a walk. Um, Hans has like a hangboard for climbing um, so they're working on making like a, I don't think it's a stand but like whatever to hang it on the wall um, and it's because it's so sunny out they're doing it outside. So you might hear that in the video, hopefully not. Um, but let's start prepping the beans. <laughs> harder to score properly. That went significantly better. Still got a lot of work, but... The eggs are boiling, the beets are boiling, and the bread's in. So, um, I think I'm gonna work on the chickpeas next for the hummus. Couldn't really find a recipe that I wanted to use, so we're just giving it a shot. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Like an 
ice bath right after I took them out. And that usually makes them a little bit easier to peel. Okay, well, my camera didn't record, so you'll just have to trust me, but it took two minutes to peel eight eggs with the ice bath after. Highly recommend. It just takes too long if you do it straight out. Well, you can't do it straight out. It's boiling, but like if you do it without the ice bath, it takes actually forever. <laughs> I have a little bit of sourdough, like cooked sourdough left over from yesterday. Um, we cut on both sides, so it's like a little bit, but I'm going to cut this up into like dipping sizes for the hummus when it's done. Um, just so I can try it in the meantime <laughs> before the next loaf is fully cooked and cooled down. The beets are done. Most of the recipes I found online wanted me to roast them. Um, and I didn't want to do that just because I wanted to do, I wanted to work on it while the sourdough was baking. So I boiled them. Um, I'm a little worried it's going to be watery because of that. Um, so I, I just tried to like pat them down with a paper towel after rinsing them with cold water. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> We're just going to eyeball it. Um, I would like to use up all of the beets and chickpeas, but we'll see where life takes us today with this. I'm not a big cooker. I bake a decent amount. So I'm, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm a bad cook. I'm just an really experienced cook. I feel like that might have been a little. Okay, let me try the chickpeas off first, actually. Because these are a little wet still. I'm not exactly sure the ratio that I should be using. I think I probably used a little too many beets, but. I really need to use up the beets, that was like the purpose of making this hummus, so it'll be fine. It'll just be a pretty beady hummus. <laughs> I also, when I rinsed the chickpeas, I like de them so they didn't have, or peel them, I don't know, so they didn't have like these all over them. I don't know if that was necessary. I feel like I've seen people do that, but like the recipes I looked at didn't make you do that. Look at the size of these lemons I got. I'm just gonna put the juice of one lemon in there. We're just taking a guess. The scoring went a lot better this time. And this bread, or this loaf was actually like only 70%. I didn't have enough starter when I did it, so I was only allowed, I could only like do about 70% of what the loaf called for. And this is about the same size, if not bigger than the last one I did. So she's gotta be real airy in there, but. Ooh, okay, maybe a little overcooked, but she smells good. Smell it. Oh, baby, the crust on this is so good. Can I, I wanna show how it Oh, this is delicious. This is going to be so good. Also, Crispy. Also. Run around. Oh. Don't kid it. Oh, that's right. like the thing. You're like, what's yeah, it to do, do with bagels? Do oh. <laughs> Garlic. I like garlic. So we're going to do like this much, however much that is. We'll start there. Which also have, oh no. Are you kidding? Okay, we made it in. I don't know, we'll do like a teaspoon. This, this, this isn't even a teaspoon, this is a tablespoon. I don't know how much tahini you put in here. We'll put in a little more. Ah. Gonna eyeball it. We'll do like...
three tablespoons. This is not going to be enough liquid, but so. Which I'm going to do like this much starting out. We'll also definitely need more. super beady but if you like beets chocolate chip cookies from the sourdough discard I gave from yesterday. I'm really excited to try these. They look so good. Shout out Nat for a little food trade. So excited to try them. So did I. I had those tamales. But... She's crispy. I have a lot. Um, well, we have a lot. It's not just me, but I have about three loads to get through. And I usually cut it off for several days. So I feel like we're already successful starting on the same day I finished it. Um, I do have an assignment due tomorrow, and we're going to a concert tomorrow. So I really want to get most if not all of that assignment done tonight but it's already eight o'clock so and i kind of want to go to bed at like like a little early so we're gonna grind out this laundry and then we're gonna hopefully finish that <laughs> Putting a duvet cover 
are the same awful vibe. And I don't even know how to fold a fitted sheet, but I think that's just a skill I'm not even willing to learn at this point. <laughs> I don't know when I'll put this up just because I'll be back to classes and stuff tomorrow um, but I hope you guys had a good spring break and I hope if you're not in Buffalo you enjoyed some warm weather um, and I'll see you next time